Hey everybody! Today I wanted to do a comparison of the Hobonichi Weeks. I have both the regular Hobonichi Weeks and then the Mega Hobonichi Weeks. The Hobonichi Weeks Mega. Um, there isn't much of a difference in them both other than the Mega has a ton of more space of note pages than the regular Weeks. I have them right now both in the Chic Sparrow Weeks cover and um, I love the way that they feel like I just they're both really great quality they're very nice they fit the um, Weeks perfect they have a little bit of extra space and it's space up here as well so there's no hangover which I like because I don't really like hangover my traveler's notebooks so yes, I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the cover so we can go ahead and dig right into the um, the weeks itself. So let me take them out and just set the cover up here on top. I don't remember exactly the name of the colors of the um, weeks that I got but I did it's pink and this one's blue let me go ahead and show you the top view so you can see the thickness difference let me take this spoons out the way this is the um, they both come well all of them come with a bookmark little ribbon bookmark so you can keep track of the pages if that's what you choose I'm sorry about this white stuff all over my desk in the cover it's from the um the chic sparrow cover so let me get this to focus okay so there you go you can see the difference of thickness from both of them and let me do side to side so you can see that as well. They're both lightweight. They're both very nice in your hand and they fit in a purse. Very nice. I mean, obviously, right. They're very, um, they're good. I like them. I'm very excited and I can't wait to use them. This is my first time using a week's. So I'm actually very excited. I went ahead and purchased two. Oh, let me show you the side. The side does say 2019. If I can get it to focus in. So you can kind of see it a little bit. I mean, it just says 2019 there. And then it does say it on the pink one as well. But I, I haven't been able to pick it up on the camera. But it's pretty much the same thing. They both just say 2019 on the side. And then it has, of course, the 2019 on the front cover as well. This is kind of like a gold and then this is like a pink ink. So I went ahead and I purchased two because I have been struggling to find my planner piece. But, because I've been buying Traveler's Notebooks and trying Traveler's Notebooks and seeing, okay, I first uh, purchased a pocket-sized Traveler's Notebook thinking, let me go small. And I usually never buy, I don't use little small Traveler, like notebooks or uh, calendars, whatever, you know, planners. Um, I usually like to have it like pretty big, like either like a wide or a B6. So... I, you know, this is actually my first year using Traveler's Notebooks. I've always used just regular um, calendar journals. I forgot the word that they're called, but yeah. Um, but I kind of do and don't like having Traveler's Notebooks. So I'm not 100% sure even what I'm going to be doing fully. I like... Um, I like different things. I like to change it up a lot. So I think that I'm going to stick with this Hobonichi Weeks as my everyday carry for next year. I do have a B6 Traveler's Notebook that I plan on using as my at-home um, 
planning so it's gonna be like anything that pertains to my house like cleaning cooking grocery shopping everything that I have to do I'm gonna put in my B6 travelers notebook and then I do have a wide a couple of wide um, travelers notebooks that I use strictly for journaling and I can do a flip through of that because I found beautiful inserts that I wanted to share with you all and hopefully you know if it's something that you enjoy that you can buy as well because I love them they're great quality they're beautiful I'm just gonna go ahead and do a mini show you one of them this is the wide that I have a Mother Chic Sparrow on the same um, leather as this one that I have from the weeks this is what I was talking about one of the inserts that I found from Planner Perfect all of these are from her these not these dashboards are from a different shop I can't think of it right now but I'll link it down below um, but this is her insert and it's just so I love it like the paper quality is good I do have some um, some watercolor work in it and it doesn't bleed through and these are all her artwork that she drew herself so I absolutely love it but anyways that's for my journaling and I keep it in all in my wide I have wide for that so let's just go ahead I'm sorry I got a little off track there but I'm gonna go ahead and just go through my Hobonichi weeks um, like I said I did purchase two of them because I plan on using the Hobonichi Mega for my everyday carry and then I also decided to purchase a second one because I love everything planner related I love um, you know being able to be creative in my planning and I love writing things down more than writing them and like jotting them down on my phone I'm more of a person that likes to write things by hand so you know I just really love it it's my thing and I've always enjoyed it so I decided to buy one a second one because I wanted to continue doing more YouTube videos and hopefully in 2019 grow in YouTube and hopefully you know be able to open up my own Etsy shop um, I did purchase a quick cut recently so it's gonna come in the mail so I want to start you know messing with that and making my own accessories for planner like planner related accessories so I'm really looking forward to 2019 and you know an Etsy shop and hopefully having my YouTube channel grow and doing a ton more videos and it's my hobby and I love it I absolutely love it it's something that I can do myself and it doesn't have anything to do with school or you know it's just my own little thing that I absolutely love it so that's why I have this one four and then I also have the mega weeks which I the weeks mega which I plan on using as my everyday carry and this one's gonna have everything from our doctor's appointments like mine my husband's and my kids doctor's appointments dentist appointments um you know just anything that I have to do that's important in my everyday life events anything that has to do with my life it's gonna go in my mega weeks and then anything that has to do with like YouTube or social media or in my soon to have Etsy shop, it's going to go in this one. Um, I did write down a couple of personal things in the mega week, so I'm not going to go into detail in it, but I am going to show you because like um, the, the only difference between the mega weeks and this one is the amount of note pages it has. I'm not sure if I said that already, but um, so that's the main thing. So I'm just going to show you all the back page has. 213 pages of notes and they have it written down the page numbers on the bottom written down so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the comparison of how many note pages you have to the actual calendar itself so let me go show you this first this has like the little note section and then you have you can write the page number and then the subject of what you want to write down and then let me show you the comparison. So this is the whole calendar. Let me move this 
not the way. So this little section here is the calendar itself. And then this is the all the notes that you have, extra pages for notes. And you know, just depending if how everything goes next year, I probably will buy another Mega Weeks if you know I feel like okay, I'm doing good in my Etsy shop or I'm doing better in YouTube, so I need a couple of more extra pages in the back. I will go ahead and just purchase another um the mega one. But I'm going to go ahead and do a flip through of the weeks so that way you all can see what it is, what they have inside the pages and determine whether or not you want to buy one. So this is, I also have this little thing. Let me move this out the way. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It just says hobo going diagonal. And this is the first page. And then this is the three years at a glance. So they have 2018, 2019, and 2020. And then they also have this, but I don't know what that says. So I cannot tell you what that is. But this is what it looks like. If, okay. Then it has a whole 2019 year at glance. Um... January through December. Then on the side it has 1 through 31. So then each month obviously doesn't go past 31 days. So you can just, you know, that's how they have it organized. So you can use this to keep track, like a habit tracker. Maybe write down birthdays or the more important notes that you need to see out of glance I mean I don't know I don't think I'm going to use this page because it's just so small so I don't think this has any point to me then the first month that they have is December 2018 so you can fully start to use this in December because they have a whole month at a glance so that's going to be the start off month, December. They have section, a little spot for some notes if you want to write notes down. If you want to decorate it with some wash tape, stickers, I mean, whatever you feel like doing. I mean, it's yours and it's personal to you. So, you know, just do whatever makes you happy. And the bottom side has a little checklist. So I would think that either you can write down goals that you have for the month or, you know, you can write down the more important things that you have for the month. So you can just open it up quickly and then see, okay, I have so-and-so to do. So that's really important. I need to write it down. And then when you open it up, you can see, okay, this is what I have to do this month to make sure I get it done. I mean, you know, it's whatever you feel like using it for. You can just cover it up completely with wash tape or stickers and just, you know, decorate it however you want. So it starts with the monthly view of December 2018 all the way through March of 2020. So like I said, they have each month of the year for 2019 and each page has space for notes and a checklist at the bottom. So like I said, that would be a really great place to put down your goals for the month and then check them off as you go. And then we have this is December 2019 and then here we have January 2020 and again it has the section space for notes and then the checklist in the bottom and then the last one they have is March 2020 and then it starts off officially on November 26 2018 so you can technically start using this next week tomorrow's the 26th so i'm recording this november 25th um so tomorrow's the 26th um i don't think that i'm gonna use this i might use this i don't know i might use it but if it doesn't bother you that you don't have a whole monthly overview it doesn't really matter because it's just one week left of november anyway so anyway so you can use this either november 
of next week or you can just officially start December since you have the full week of December along with that monthly overview if you want to use both. So for the weeks, on the week side they have it horizontal and then they also have little tiny black dots that you can use to separate each section. You can cut it, like make a little mark yourself with a pencil or pen and just separate the sections if that's what you want. Then on the um, right side of the page it just has grid. And if we look closely, it we can see that it cut, it runs across the whole entire book, the whole page. Little lines across the whole page. And then if you see extra close, let me zoom it in more, you can see that right there, that's a solid line. So you can cut it down and then use that. Or you can just use this as a whole entire checklist, notes, you know, just whatever you feel like using it. Like I said, it's yours, so you can use it however you want. You can just do watercolor and then journal on this side. You know, it's just open to so many different options of how you want to use it. I've seen a couple of videos of girls like using, covering this up with washi tape and decorating it. And that's totally what I plan on doing. Like, I definitely want to make this as cute as possible. And I have a couple of paper clips that I had recently purchased and I love them. So I purchased a couple of more. I don't know how to pronounce this um, shop, but it's Kinley or Kinley. I think it's Kinley Doodles. I don't know, but that's where I purchased these from. I will link it down below. I love these paper clips. They're so cute, and I purchased a bunch, a ton of more stuff um, for Black Friday this weekend. <laughs> I purchased a lot of things, so I will do unboxings as well and just. You know that I don't know these paper clips are just so cute so I do plan on having a bunch of paper clips and wash tape stickers and just make this super cute and fun to look at and be in so again it just has the weekly overview looking over on the sides of each month it does have it blacked out just so you know what number the month you're in if that's something that's important to you so you can see on the side, I'm going to kind of tilt it a little bit. All that black is from the monthly numbers that they have. And then the back side it has, again, that's just the last December of 2019 is when they have it. And then they just have January starting here. And then the notes section. And then this is the notes, 69 pages of notes. You can put the page, the subject, and whatever you want here. And then you just go ahead and you start with the notes. And then the back, it has just a couple of information sheets. Again, it's not in English, so honestly, I have no clue what this says. They do have a ruler on the side. I would assume it's centimeters because it says centimeters here. Um... But again, it has a ruler on the side, just a couple of information sheets, but it's not in English, so I don't know what it says. But that's pretty much the weeks. And that's the back side, and that's the back. And then the back is the same as the front. It says hobo going across. And that's that. And then it does come with that um, bookmark if that's something you plan on using or not. Um, yeah, so these are the ones that I have. I had, so far I have two of them. I, I forgot to mention, I did purchase these directly from the Hobonichi um, website. So I did get that free pen. I got two of them. One for each, and they are this one. And then you can also change them out and get the refills. And then it also came with a clear adhesive pocket. So 
I have the other Hobo, I have t all the Hobonichi sizes, the A5 and the A6. I did not purchase, I don't think I purchased one of these for the weeks, but just to give you a, like a, a little example of what you can do with that, you can just stick this in the back and then, you know, this is another bookmark too that they have where you can keep it closed. Use it to close it all the way if that's something that interests you. If you don't want to buy a cover like this, or if you have a clear cover and cover, you know, it's just something to keep it closed. Or you can use it on the inside to close it like that if that's something you'd want to do. Or you can use it as a bookmark and keep track of the page that you're on. And so that way if you want something that easy access to open straight to the page you're on, you can do that. And then you can also have another adhesive pocket here, buy a second one, just if you literally just want to open straight up to that, you know, just something like that. Um, I hope this video was somewhat informative and helpful if you wanted to choose or buy both of them. They're both lightweight. I'm really looking forward to using them. So I'm excited for next year and I'm just, you know, having high hopes and hoping that next year is a great year for me and for everyone out there that we have, we achieve our goals and, you know, just have a great fun 2019. Hope you have a wonderful day and hope you can stick around and like and subscribe to my videos and stick around for more videos that are coming soon. Thank you all. Have a great, great, great day. Bye.